Hey you guys, it's Morty Geek. In this video, you'll have an unboxing and hands-on review of the game's M155. This is a portable screen for your PlayStation 4, Xbox One. You can also use it with a laptop or desktop computer as a second monitor as well. Uh, like you see here, it's a 15.5 inch. Uh, this right now costs me around $158. But if you go to Amazon right now, just check right now, it was $144. That's to say a couple days later. Uh, so first of all, let's go and show you guys what's in here, the box. Um, printed here we got it's a hd 720p led display yes 720p not 1080p um ultra lightweight and portable usb powered so that means you're going to be powering this via usb so you can use it with your playstation 4 and xbox one with the usb that's in the, on the consoles already so you don't need a power outlet that's good um hdmi input and 60 hertz virtually lag free gaming there you go um here let's go ahead and see what's in the back over here in the box uh here you got some the monitor with all the devices that's compatible with uh, and over here you got some more info here it says screen 5 15.5 hd 720p led display um input hdmi input support 720p native or 1080p scaled we got sound 3.5 millimeter stereo headphone jack uh dimensions 15.75 wide 0.6 depth and 0.9 height um here we got 1.7 pounds and powered by 5.0 volts that's it like you see there it comes with a type of case that you can also use it as a stand. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and open this up. This is the first time I'm opening it, so keep that in mind. Let's go ahead, this. Uh, the reason you would buy this is if you wanna play um, mobile gaming on the go, um, console gaming on the go. Um, I used, uh, when I was in the army, I used to use this a lot, but not this brand another brand and it was actually for a gamecube and it was a lifesaver so this right now today and age would be an awesome lifesaver as well if you're like a soldier or something like that so here you got some instructions and you got some of the buttons and all that the hdmis and that's it we'll read this later on so right here this is the case there you go so that's the case. These are the grooves right here. You see? These are the three grooves. So you got one, two, and three three positions. And that's it. It says games are there. Very cool. Okay, put this to the side. And let's see what's let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, there is. Okay, so here we got an HDMI. Uh, the cable, I think this is a uh, micro USB. Yeah, a micro USB cable connection there. Cool, cool, cool. And over here we got an HDMI cable. And here I think this is a a wall adapter, just in case you want to hook up your power. Maybe you have to hook up the power. Let's see. We'll learn about this later on. So here it is. Look at that. At least it comes with one of these. So I guess most likely you might need power, but we'll test that out later on here on the video. And um, this right here, got some screws there. Hmm. I wonder what would I use this for? Maybe it's for the case to be attached to the screen. Maybe that's why. Let's go put that to the side. There you go. And gonna take this out carefully I don't want to mess the screen okay so here we have it let's go ahead and take this out there we go. Dun, 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 dun. okay there you go wow damn not bad look at that so here we got the brand that says games right there my reflection there there and here in the bottom you got 
some writing there. Games, the model number. Let's see what you got here on this side. You don't have anything on this side. On this side, let's see there. On this side right here, you have the buttons that you actually gonna be using here with this display. Um, here you got up and down button for most likely that's like uh, brightness or something like that. And over here you got up and down for volume and over here you have a button. I still don't know what the button is that for. And here you got uh, most likely is the power button right there. And of course over here you got the inputs for it's gonna take this out this is like a rubber but you got the HDMI input you got the headphone jack and you got the power that I guess this is where you're gonna connect the power at right there for the screen and basically that's it uh, the material design does not feel that high-end you know it feels more plasticky I actually thought it was going to be a little bit more, you know, expensive looking, but it does look good. But if it does feel very, very plasticky, it, th this right here looks like rubber, but it's not rubber. It is totally plastic. Uh, let's go and try to put the case. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to put up, put the case. And you actually need those two, two screws that we saw um, on the little bag. I actually guessed it right. This is for the case. So what I'm going to do here is uh, lay it down like this. There you go. And this is where the case is going to be attached to right here. One here and one over here. Okay, we're done attaching the case to the screen already. Um, these screws are very easy to put in. You don't really need a screwdriver whatsoever. Uh, you have uh, this right here. That it's very makes it easy to just uh, maneuver the screw just like that. Uh, make sure you don't put it that tight at all because if you do, you might damage the screen or you might damage the screw. Just make sure it fits there tight and that's it. Um, after that, you can open up and here you are going to have three angles now available for you so you have this angle right here which is almost straight up you got this one right here midway and you have this one right here so what i'm gonna do right now is set it up with the playstation 4 i'm gonna read the instructions a little bit so i can get a little bit more familiarized with the screen and we'll be back Okay guys, so here we are back again with the game's M155 monitor for PlayStation 4 or Xbox One or you can also use a Amazon Fire TV or something like that because I already tested out and it actually works very good with the Fire TV. It also would work perfectly good with an Apple TV, something like that as well. That's no problem whatsoever when it comes to that. Now, let's go ahead and show you guys how it works when you're connecting it to the PlayStation 4. Uh, like you see here i put it on top of my playstation 4 uh you can put it to the side to the other side wherever you want to put it you can put the playstation 4 in the back and you have the screen in the front whatever you want to do but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to put it right here um of course you have a couple angles here you could put it like this you could put it like this or you could put it like that I'm going to go ahead for the this video. I'm going to use it in the middle. Uh, make sure you put the, the HDMI here properly. You put the um, micro USB connection here. Very good. Make sure it's properly connected here. Uh, keep in mind, it does not have speakers. So if you want to listen to what you're playing, you would either have to connect your headphones to your controller, which gladly... Uh, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, you can actually connect the uh, your headphones here, and that's it. So, so you don't really have to use that if you want, don't want to. But if you want to put like a speaker, you can also connect a speaker here, which I'm going to do here. I'm going to connect a speaker uh, with the 3.5 millimeter. I connect this speaker right here, which is a Bluetooth speaker, which you can also use. You know, it has an aux out. So I'm going to put this to the side here. Um, one thing that I, I've been noticing here, for example, if you turn the screen on, 
right now is powered remember this the playstation 4 is on standby mode so when it's on standby mode it's still um, um powering through the usb ports so right here i'm gonna go ahead and connect just one of them one usb port to the playstation 4 and right here i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the monitor and one thing that I've noticed is that if you turn on the monitor, the monitor, if it doesn't receive any signal, it will turn off on its own, which is good because you don't have to be uh, remembering of pressing the button to turn off the cons the screen when you're done playing. So that's good. That's not bad. I find that that a good, a cool feature. So right now, if I turn on my playstation 4 right the screen turned off because it didn't it, it did not receive any hdmi signal so it turned off so let's wait for this to turn on here and i'm gonna wait for this to turn on here and the power is connected the hdmi is connected so if i turn on the screen it should work right so let's see if it actually works this time because I've been having a problem with this. Um, and the thing is that everything's connected properly. So this is issuing a signal over here to the monitor. And it should turn on just like that. But this is the first time right now in this video. This is the first time that it turns on properly. It turns on, you know, by turning the PlayStation 4, turning the screen and boom, it turned on. That is the first time it turns on properly because other times and I, I and I read other comments on the on Amazon a lot of people are having problems when they turn on the monitor turn on the PlayStation 4 everything's connected properly and it will not turn on the screen turns off because it doesn't receive any signal that was happening to me and the way that I found it to work properly was to um, make sure it was powered disconnect the hdmi turn on the playstation 4 right and once the playstation 4 was connected hook up hook on the hdmi cable and voila turn on the screen and it would work this time on the video like you saw there it worked properly so thanks god so um here over here you got a couple buttons over here in the side if you press the top button it's gonna be a menu so you got you can control the brightness if you want here um but okay let me just go ahead and press that with the with the button over here in the side you could go ahead through these right there like you see there you can switch to another normal temperature if you want like you see there uh you go back warmer or let's go ahead and choose normal right um of course you can always Go back over here. Let's go ahead and try to get out of here. I'm pressing the menu button and it's not doing anything right now. So I only have this right here, which is the up and down button. And that's all I'm doing, right? The other up and down button won't do, yeah, it won't do nothing at all. So all I have is the power button, which I'm not going to press because I don't want to get out of there. So I don't know what to do here. You know, I, okay. Okay, accidentally turn it off. So let's go ahead and turn it on again. Let's see if it actually turns on. They should turn on because it was working perfectly good, right? But right now I turned it off. Because that, that's one thing about the settings. It's not very familiar. You only have a couple buttons here in the side. Look at that. It did not turn on. It did not turn on, and that's that's a pain in the ass. Let me see if we take out this cable, right? Take out the HDMI. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the screen again, right? Turn on the screen. You see the games logo. Let's go ahead and put in the cable again. Let's see if we actually recognize this. Okay, there it goes. Finally. That's some that's something that should not happen. I'm telling you guys, that's something that should not happen and it happens a lot. It happens a lot and I don't really like it. The screen is 720p uh when the blacks are not deep black, so you're going to see like uh, if you look at the screen when when there's no signal going on, uh you're going to see like um 
I don't think it's like light bleeding, but you could see like uh, uh, the borders of the screen a little bit more bluish. So that's one thing to keep in mind. The screen is glossy. For me, it, sh it would have been better if, if the screen was matte instead of gr uh, glossy. Uh, that way you can eliminate some glare. Like I said, this has no speakers. So you would have to connect a speaker here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect these speakers. So now we should be getting um, good audio there. And let's go ahead and play this game right here. Look at that. Now, one thing about the PlayStation 4 is that it gets loud as hell. That's one thing that, wow, I really don't like about the PlayStation 4. Um, most likely the, the, the microphone is going to pick up the noise of the, of the drive for the PlayStation 4, which kind of sucks. So I played a couple games already. I play like the MLB, the show, and it plays very good. Everything looks very beautiful on the screen. Uh, I also played um, um, the infamous Second Son. And it also works very good as well. So that's one thing to keep in mind as well. The games play very good. I also did try connecting the Fire TV and it works also very good. And the good thing about the Fire TV is that you can use Link TV. You can use Link TV for um, your live TV, which is a very good service. For $20, you get a whole bunch of uh, of live channels like CNN, um, ESPN, and all that. If you're one of those that are on the go a lot and you need like a console and you you want, instead of having a PlayStation Vita or a 3DS, you wanna play console games in your hotel or on the go. Um, this is a cool feature because the great thing here is that you don't need, you don't need to have like two power sources like you don't need to connect your playstation 4 and your your screen to the power outlet so instead of looking for two um outlets you just look for one outlet that that's what you would use for your playstation 4 and that's it let's go ahead and do the finisher here again you're down sucker let's go and finish it one two and three <laughs> there you go very very cool so like you see there it works perfectly good here if you need a screen for your playstation 4 or xbox one and you want to be on because you're on the go a lot I, I think it's totally worth it you know i think it's totally worth it i what i didn't really like is the the fact that it wouldn't connect right away to the console when i turn on the screen turn on the playstation 4 it should turn on. I should not have to go and figure out what's the proper way to turn it on. It should turn on. It's a monitor. It should turn on. So that thing, I did not like the fact that I had to disconnect this, the HDMI cable and put the HDMI cable again in. Sometimes it wouldn't even recognize it that way and it would turn off again. That really was annoying. Uh, like you saw there in the video, when I turned it on the first time, it turned on perfectly good. And it was the first time it ever connected like that. It was the first time it turned on perfectly good. The build quality of the screen, the sides, the plastic feels very, very plasticky. Let's go ahead and turn this off. So you guys saw how it works there. You can turn it off here. Um, when the PlayStation 4 turns off completely, it will stop sending the, uh, the HDMI signal to the screen and the game's logo is gonna come out and it's gonna turn off. But one thing that I want to, let's see, let's wait for it to turn off. It should take a couple seconds for it to turn off. You know, another cool thing is that I did try to see if this screen fits in my computer laptop um, bag and it works. You know, I have a computer laptop bag, um, a Swiss, I think it's Swiss gear or something like that. And it works perfectly good. It fits perfectly good on a 15 um, inch uh, one of those bags and it fits perfectly good you can also buy a bundle that's like 229 and you get the screen and you also get a backpack where you can put the playstation 4 the remotes the games and the screen and it and it fits perfectly good but you don't really need it if you have another bag a, a bag big enough where you can fit the screen uh, for example it has like a laptop port 
and you can do that. This case as well does not feel high end as well. This case feels very, very cheap as well. Uh, I was very surprised how bad or cheap this case feels. Uh, it does the job that it's supposed to do, of course, protect the, the screen. Yeah, it does that job. Uh, it gives you the stand, you know, it gives you three angles, which is good. But damn, man, look at this. This is, I just took this out like an, a couple hours ago and it got scratched by just putting this in my laptop bag. This should have been a little bit more premium. Uh, I should have felt a little bit more cushion as well because it does not feel cushion at, at all. Um, you could barely, I don't know, if you drop this with the, with the screen, the screen is going to mess up because this is very cheap. The screen is, like I said before, the everything surrounding the screen feels very, very plasticky. Like I said before, if you really need a screen for your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, and uh, you don't want to buy the Games G155, which for me, I prefer because you got everything in the case, in the big, big protective case with the screen already there. But I can see how people would rather buy the screen. And that way you can use the screen to for other things besides a console. The M155, I think it's worth it. You know, if you're on the go, like I said, all the time, if you're on the go and you need a screen, First, uh, it's perfectly good. That's it, guys. Um, this was a look at the Games M155. If you have any questions, please go ahead and, and ask it in the comments. I will try to answer them, and I'll keep using this, and I'll give any feedback on my, in my descriptions. And as you ask questions, I'll also give you um, the answers to those questions if I can. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked the video, thumbs up. Till next time, guys.